medicine is like an entirely different language. And so I think when it comes to specialized diagnoses or diagnoses that families aren't as familiar with, not just the oncology sphere, but kind of any of them, that people should give themselves sort of the grace to realize that this is learning a new language and it's entering into a kind of whole new system and realm. I always tell parents and patients, if they're old enough, that they should feel completely empowered to ask the same question multiple times because there's no reason to think that they really grasp the answers they heard the first time. Hi, I'm Dr. Kyle McQuarrie. I'm an oncologist and physician scientist here at Lurie Children's. So I actually do both clinical care and I do research. I'm one of the solid tumor oncologists, so I specialize in the care of children with solid tumors. So that's things like cancers of muscle, of bone, of liver, of kidney. And I actually spend the majority of my time in the lab, so trying to find advances in our ability to understand those tumors to hopefully lead to better treatments in the future. So my lab focuses on understanding the developmental biology of these tumors, so how they grow, how they know to stop growing. And so we focus not only on the tumor, on the cancer, we also look at how normal cells grow and develop. And so I'm trying to find that intersection between there and understand what goes right and what goes wrong to try to find new ways, new avenues of treatment. When it comes to treating children with cancer, our division of hematology, oncology, and stem cell transplantation, it's all about designing a care plan that's perfect for that child, and that's the best for that specific patient, and that works for their family as well, right? Like, our patient is, of course, the child, but we have to take that all in the context of what their family needs, the support their family needs and where they're coming from. So I really think about the fact that we have multiple layers of that integrated into how we provide care. We're multidisciplinary from top to bottom. So from the physicians that are members of the team, to the nurse practitioners, to dedicated nurses, to the fact that we have social workers, we have child life specialists, we have coordinators and administrators who specialize in taking care and providing care for these patients to genetic counselors. I think one of the real benefits of us being a teaching institution and a research institution is the fact that it means no one gets complacent. It means that we continue to drive forward to try to develop new things and think about things in the most rigorous way possible, which I think results in the best care.